We were left with a blank slate on this bath and shower remodel. This was the AutoCAD mock-up, shower on the right, tub, floor tile, recess niches. And there it is. Shower, tub, recess niches. Let's give you guys a walkthrough. All right, let's start with the floor. This is a 12 by 24 inch rectified porcelain. It was supposed to resemble concrete. This might look familiar. We installed this in episode one, bath and shower tile ideas episode two. We were called back to remodel their master bathroom and shower. Again, staggered at a 50% offset with one 16th inch grout lines. As you can see, it's a flawless install. A tile leveling system was used on this entire floor. Underneath this tile are heated mats. We've got mats along this run. We also have mats right in here in front of the tub as well as the shower. Everything's hooked up to a thermostat. You can set when you want the heat to start in the mornings. It takes about a half an hour to get these floors nice and hot. Let's move on over to the vanity here. This was an old dresser. The customer stained the dresser. We did some basic modifications to accept the plumbing. The top of the vanity is walnut. This is solid walnut. It was stained and it was coated a few times with poly. We installed a couple of uh, overmount sinks here, chrome faucets. We've got a nice ceramic backsplash with Schluter Rondeck trim on top. The backsplash looks wonderful. Got a couple of cabinets up here with some four inch LEDs. Let's take you on in here. We've got a new toilet, obviously, new baseboard installed. We've got a nice soaking tub. This is a wonderful tub, very deep, great backrest here. Again, chrome fixtures with the valve and trim kit. We've got a waterfall mosaic ceramic stripe right there. We have a wainscot, six by 18 inch ceramic tile. We installed teak. This is teak flooring at a random pattern. This was super simple to install. Finished nails with some glue. The deck of the tub surround is Carrera marble. Also, we installed Carrera marble on the bench here. Carrera marble on the curb as well. That turned out great. The field wall tile here, six by 18. Ceramic. This is Rondeck by Schluter. Trim to cover cut edges. Beautiful large niche here. As you can see, the niche is very symmetrical. Absolutely flawless, clean tight corners right here. We've got the low profile Schluter Rondeck as well. Now check out this valve wall. This is amazing. We've got a ceiling rain head, standard rain head, diverter with four sprayers here. We installed also a large waterfall mosaic right in the middle to match that mosaic as well as the backsplash. As you can see, the walls are extremely flat. We used a tile leveling system, RLS, on this entire shower. It is absolutely flawless. If you can look close there. I'll show you some of the detail in the tile work. We've got really tight miter cuts right here. Also have very tight miter cuts right here. You can just barely see that seam there. Come down here, the face of the bench, very tight and clean miter cuts here as well. The shower pan tile is a marble mosaic sheet, chrome grill, obviously, to match all of the chrome fixtures. Nice, clean, detailed cuts on the top of this curb right here. Proper slope for this. Got had the proper slope for the bench top as well. And there you guys have it. A beautiful shower. 
Beautiful tub, wonderful looking footprint. Again, we were left with a blank slate. We framed and designed everything in here. It looks great. Customer is very, very happy with how this turned out, and so are we. Well, there you guys have it. Bath and Shower Tile Ideas Episode 9. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions about design, about material used in this build, please leave them in the link description below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you on Bath and Shower Tile Ideas Episode 10. Thanks for watching, guys.